Hi there, folks. Maureen from Color Me Positive. And thanks again for picking up your coloring book and journal kit. Now, I just want to show you how to fill in the line art that came with your kit. So this is a picture, right, an image. You're going to get three exactly the same, except they're going to be, I'll show you the difference. So you get the JPEG, which is a flattened image. You get one, a PNG file. Now, this is no background, so if you just want to use this image as it is, you can just take it and drag it into a coloring book page or put it wherever you like. And this is the one that you're going to fill with your own patterns. So it's actually named You Fill, so you won't have any problems finding them. And each image comes like this. So what you want to do with this one is you want to fill it with a pattern or whatever you like. So you got a hundred patterns in the kit. So use one of those or use any kind of pattern, any other pattern you have that you really like or one that you create. So what I do, I open one up already and you're just going to click on it, hold it down and drag it into this picture okay and just drop it in there and center it or okay now you want to go to your bottom layer drag it on top of the pattern and it's that simple so now it's filled with a pattern you can move the pattern make sure you're on the pattern later layer you can move it around to somewhere you like right anywhere you like move it you can do anything you like with it, actually. So I like it there. Okay, so now I have a pattern filled image. And I want to use it in a coloring book. So you can just flatten the image if you like. And if you want to make the background transparent, because you're going to be using it in the journals, say, and you don't want a white background once you've filled it in. What you're going to do is go over to your background layer because I would f you flatten it first, right? And then click on the lock and that'll turn it into a layer. You're going to grab your magic wand tool over here and you're going to click on the white background. Okay. Now, sometimes you're going to get some gray artifacts when you do this to avoid that. And here we want to get rid of this part too. So just to take your magic wand, hold your shift key down and click in this area here. So you get that out as well. Now, like I said, you, you, you might get some artifacts, gray or white, and you don't want that. So what you can do, once you select it, go to select, modify, and expand the selection. Now, I usually go about two pixels. You can do one or two and see the effect. And then click OK. So now it's expanded the selection. And now you just hit Delete. And that should take care of any artifacts that you might get. OK. Then you just click here if you want to get rid of all the extra space. Go to Select, Inverse, Image, Crop, and that'll bring it down to there. And that's your image that you can use in a journal. If, it's, if you're going to be putting it in a coloring book, you don't really need to do all the background stuff because it's white, right? Your coloring book's got a white background, so you can just use the image as it is with the white background. Now, the white fill one right you could put a pattern behind it if you like so let's go back to that pattern we'll use the same one click and hold it and drag it over to that image drop it in and center it as best you can okay and just go back to your layer and drag it on top of the pattern and there you have the dog on top of the pattern, 
and I would make them smaller so you could see more of the pattern. Make sure you select it. There we go. Center maybe a little bit. Click on your check mark to place them. And in this case, I would add a shadow. So what I did was double clicked on the top layer. And that'll bring up your layer style box. And click on drop shadow and play around with that, see what you like. And that makes them stand out from the page a little bit more. Now use any kind of patterns you like back there. It's totally up to you, totally up to your style. Now, with the JPEG file, what you can do, if you don't like my edition, let's say, of this, so I, I cut this part out so I could fill it with a pattern because I thought it made sense with the costume he's wearing, right? I would want that to be patterned, but maybe you don't. Maybe you want just the legs, okay, to have a pattern in them. So what you would do is go to your background, because it's a JPEG, so it's flattened. Click on the lock. That'll turn it into a layer. Go to your magic wand tool. Click on that. And let's take out the legs. Now, you could do this one at a time, or you could hold the shift key down once you've clicked in a part. And that will just add to your selection. So say you want this part as a pattern, not this. So use the JPEG, go in there and take out what you like. And now you have a blank space to put a pattern in. So you would do the same thing as we did for the U fill picture over here. You just go to the pattern, click on your move tool, grab it and drag it over to the picture you're wanting to fill. And there we go. Take the bottom layer and drag it on top. And now you have a pattern there. So you can play with that if you want. Move it around. Get the best position. So play with all of the images um, to see what you like, what you want to do with them to make them uniquely yours. And that's it for that. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or ask them in our Facebook group because there's a great bunch of folks in there. Um, they're so willing to help. You know, they're amazing. I love them all. Um, and if you're already in the Facebook group, I love you too. All right. So have a lot of fun with this. Happy creating.